So there's a lot of features within um, the College of Communication, but then across our campus as well. So many of our students also work um, collaboratively with members of HCOM, which is our uh, medical school. So there's opportunities there. There's just, there's a collaboratory, collaboratory feeling of our program, of the college, and then the university. During the past years in this program, I have collaborated with so many faculty members who uh, do narrative study or uh, critical and rhetorical studies. So I really enjoy the uh, multi-methodological approaches that we're using here. Many of the um, initiatives through um, the College of Communication that we have here have afforded me incredible opportunities. So we have what's called um, a smart lab and actually before I started classes, Dr. Stephanie DeCannon and I, which I think she's speaking mm -hmm. later, um, she kind of, we ran with an idea and we're finishing up finally a project through the smart lab that pulls big data. I would also say that I enjoy our three tracks and the ways there is some fluidity within them. Of course, eventually you need to pick a place and stick there, but um, you're welcome in any track and any class in any track if it will benefit your research. That's really neat. Um, I've served within GSS, which is our Graduate Student Senate as well, on several initiatives um, representing our our students, but also graduate students more broadly. So it is not uncommon to be sitting typing away in your office and a faculty member to pop their head in the door and say, hey, I have this thing that I'm doing. Do you want to help? It's here's the date, here's the time, let me know. And I think that is so incredible to have um, a group of faculty who are not only willing to work with you, but want to work with you. We're going to the VR lab and talking about that. There's a uh, social interaction lab that we have right here in our building where I've conducted interviews um, with participants one of the things for me, particularly as, as an individual, as, as, as a human being, is really the kindness that's associated within the communities in which we live and play. Yeah, one thing that you'd already, you'd already mentioned, Dr. Beck, was the teacher training, which was another thing that I was very excited to come and be a part of. And I think that's one thing that actually distinguishes this program from many, many others, is that we, we are set up with tools to become better teachers right from the very beginning and, and the emphasis and the uh, there is a high value placed on being a good teacher and it, it's considered part of our scholarship in addition to to our research and our, our performance as students so that's something that really sets this program apart from any other programs. Great. Our cohort system, because of an internal aspect of a mentorship program where more senior students um, mentor first year students and sometimes those become lifelong friendships, sometimes they don't, but it really it's just having someone to turn to when it gets rough um, has allowed for kind of this cross um, cohort beauty, I would call it, like magic, where um, we're very supportive of each other. It's not only our faculty who support us, we support each other. I know I work on research with just other graduate students within my program and then across disciplines within GSS, etc. So there's a very um, strong graduate student pre presence in our program and on this campus. And we involve our graduate students on projects and not only the projects but also the, the administration of our school. As the um, assistant to the graduate director, we have someone who's the assistant to our basic course director. Uh, we have an individual who helps with um, running our communication research, our communication resource lab where the, the public speaking students come in and, and practice. But not only that, we actively involve our graduate students in governance in terms of input even on our searches. We have a faculty representative that he, these people are our voice and they actually attend the faculty um, senate meetings mm -hmm. for our program and except for voting, right? right? But like there's a presence there and this is not a norm in many places right. um, to have a voice and, and that's powerful. Um, but I remember when I was looking at different programs, what it ultimately came down to when I looked at the programs I had been accepted into was where did I feel like I was at home? Like what group of people, not just the location and not just the program itself, but like what people could I see myself working with and living with for the next four years of my life. And without a doubt, hands down, that was Ohio University. Non-social sciences background, coming from medical background, I felt in the beginning that I was out of place. Very quickly, within the first few weeks, uh, these amazing colleagues of mine and Dr. Beck as the graduate director and other faculty members, particularly 
the other students among the student body basically I got so much support. So it's it's been um, the experience of my life, right? Um, I came here, took a risk and of changing life and making all these changes and it's the best thing I've ever done. Um, and, and this space allows for that and the humanity here allows for the, that growth to happen. When I when I left um, OU after Welcome Weekend, I called my best friend like 10 minutes down 33 and said, there's no doubt, this is where I belong. 